Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. Today I will be showing you how to build a custom search results layout using Avada Layouts. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. There are many ways to implement a search results layout, but the common denominator is to make a layout in Avada Layouts that is only used for search results and then populate that search layout with one or more layout sections to display your search results. The most flexible and up-to-date method is to use a postcard to display your results. I've imported the Avada Business Prebuilt here, and while there's no obvious search field on the page, a layout has nonetheless been created for search results. And so if I use the default WordPress search function here, by adding question mark s equals business and hitting enter, we come to a page displaying the search results which is controlled by the search results layout. Here the top section is coming from the page title bar layout section and under that a postcard is being used in the content layout section to display all results from the entire site, including documentation items, posts and if I scroll down far enough we also see some portfolio items. Let's just go to Avada layouts which can be found from the Avada menu here on the front end at Avada Layouts from the WordPress sidebar, or from Layouts on the Avada dashboard. So if I scroll a bit here, we can see the search results layout. We can see the page title bar and content layout section have been assigned, with the header and footer coming from the global layout. It also has a condition only to be used for search results. As you can see, that has been assigned in the layout conditions on the other tab. If I edit both the page title bar and the content layout sections, we can see the page title bar displays a header with a dynamic title and a search element, and the content layout section has a postcard archives element here using the news postcard to display the search results. Ok, so this is a basic search results layout. But to help understand this better and to explore what's possible here, I'm going to refine how search works on this pre-built and create separate search results for each post type, using a different postcard for each. I will still just use the one search results layout, but I will employ multiple postcards, rendering logic, and post type limited search fields to give an entirely different result. This way I can have completely different designs if I want with my postcards, and the different results they will be displaying. Ok, so first up I want to enable an easier way for users to search, and with that I'm also going to limit what they are searching for. So basically the approach I want to take here is to allow users to search for posts while they are viewing posts, to search for further projects while they are viewing projects, and to search for documentation when they are in the help centre. So if I go first to a post, I think I'll add a search element in this right column. The single post layout is also controlled by a layout, so here I want to edit the post content layout section and add my search element in at the top here. I'll add a search element and limit the results to posts. I'll add a placeholder here that says search our posts, and I'll just style it a bit on the design tab. Ok, now on the navigator, I'll just drag this to the top of the column. And now this will be on every blog post. Let's save that. Alright, now let's add a search element to projects. I'll just go to a project, and here we can see there is a page title bar at play again. But if we look at Avada Layouts, we can see the single project pages layout is using the default PTB, which is also being used on several other layouts. We want to have a unique one just for projects, so I have duplicated the default PTB and renamed it Projects PTB. So now if I disconnect the default PTB from this layout, and add the Project PTB layout section instead, the page title bar is now unique to projects. So now I can edit that layout section. And here again I want to add the search element. I'll just add a one third nested column, and add my search element into that. I'll just limit this to portfolio items, which is the post type the projects are using. And in the placeholder, I'll put search our projects. I might just increase the border radius here, and add a bit of top margin. Ok, that's good. Let's close this nested column and save that layout section. Ok, finally let's have a look at documentation. This pre-built has a full help center built in, which we can access from the menu up here. That should probably be a video in its own right, but this search field here is already limited to search just for the documentation post type. 
Okay, so now we have our three search areas set up. Let's configure the results. I'll head back to the search results page title bar first. Currently, the search element on the search results page is not filtered. I want to keep that search limitation going on in the search results page as well. So here, I'm going to duplicate this column twice. For the first one, I'll set the search to be limited to posts, the second one to be limited to portfolio items, and the third one to be limited to documentation. Now I have to add some rendering logic so only the right one shows at the right time. With the first column, I'll head to the Extras tab and add some rendering logic. I'll select Get Variable here and add the variable of post underscore type. I'll leave the selector on equals to and set the condition value as post. So now that column will only render on the search results page when a user has searched for posts. And if they search again, it will again be limited to posts. I'll just do the same for the next two columns, only this time with a condition value of Avada underscore portfolio, which is the project post type, and documentation respectively. OK, let's save this layout section and move to the content layout section. Here I basically want to do the same thing. I want to duplicate this column a couple of times, and then use a different postcard for each, and set rendering logic so they are only used with the correct post type. OK, so this first one is using a postcard called News Articles. And so I'll set some rendering logic on this column the same as the page title bar, with the condition value being Posts. The second column, I want to change the postcard to Project Style 1. And here I might also change the number of columns back to 2. And this time on the column, I'll add rendering logic with the condition value of Avada underscore Portfolio. OK, for the last one, I might use the same News Articles Posts card here but I will set the condition value in the rendering logic to be documentation. OK, let's save this. Now let's go back and see how all this works. If I start with a blog post, we can search from the right column here, and I'll use the same term. And the search results page loads, and we can only see one of the page title bars has rendered. And if we search again from there, we can see it's still limiting our search to posts so it's the right one. And in the content area, the results are using the postcard we chose for posts, and if we scroll down, we can see the other columns haven't rendered. If I now go to a project, I can search here from the page title bar. And this time we can see our search results page is using the second postcard, with the results limited to projects and displaying in just two columns. And again, if we search again from the page title bar, the results are limited to projects. OK, if we now head to the Help Center and search again, this time we have the first postcard in action, only these posts have all the same featured image. And again, it's limited to documentation. And if I search again, we can see our page title bar is also still limited to documentation. OK, as you can see, there are a huge number of ways you can set up your search results. But with the help of multiple postcards and some rendering logic, you can set up some quite advanced ways of displaying results using the power of Avada Layouts and Avada Builder. OK, this concludes our video on how to build a custom search results layout. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.